right, let's go ahead and talk about why I dropped off my last student, John. So, the reason I dropped him off is because he couldn't be more unsafe on the road. Um, as you'll see, I'll put video up of, uh, you know, just some snippets of his driving habits out on the, the actual road itself. So the first thing is he definitely couldn't even stay in his lane to save his life. Uh, just not even, not even at all. Um, the last student that I dropped off, he couldn't stay in his lane either. And he was pretty much exactly like him. And that was Joel. That was in one of my other videos that I dropped him off. Uh, yeah, he's just kind of all over in his lane. He has a real hard time uh, staying over to the right. He wants to stay over to the left-hand side of the road. Like, I mean, right where the vehicles pass. And then he'll just go right over the line and run people off the road. We had truckers honking at us. We had cars he was running off the road. Uh, it was it was not good at all. So what else? He, uh, <clears throat> he has trouble with work areas, work zones. So when he's going through work zones, and let's say you kind of have like a, a curvy kind of work zone well, if we went around any of the curves, he would just go straight and go right into the other lane. And he was running cars off the road right there, too. Luckily, there was no trucks that were coming by. And this was this was a lot of this was in Dallas. Um, I have a video that I'm going to show a little snippet of him. Me telling him to stay in this lane and you're going to go to the right. We're gonna stay go in up this lane and around the corner. And you're gonna to go the right, to the right, and we're gonna stay in the lane. Well, when we got to the corner, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Did not stay in his lane to save his life. You do he not get in that lane. You right stay in your lane. lane. And there was a truck right that next is to you. Where he made the big mistake of almost running a truck off the road. So that's not good at all. Uh, there was another time, and this was kind of the last draw. I, I actually gave him two chances. So there was another time we were we were going on the expressway in Dallas. And we were actually outside of Dallas, actually. So the express lane is one lane, has barriers on both sides, but it's pretty wide. But we were coming up to a part where it merges on. There's there's two paths you can take. You can either stay on the express lane, or you could go to the right and get on the highway itself. Well, when it came to choosing which way you're going to take, I told him, I said, stay on the express lane. Okay. So it got to that point and he was just going straight. He wasn't even picking which way he was going to go. And I was like, John, which way are you going to go? And he goes, I don't know. And I'm like, John, John, which way are you going to go? I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, it came down to the point where he was almost running into the concrete barrier itself. And I was like, John, which way are you going? And he goes, I don't know. And I'm like, go to the right. Because he was just about to hit the barrier. Well, there were these white strips sticking up. And uh, he ended up hitting a bunch of the white strips. And um, if we went into the right-hand lane, he hit the white strips. He almost took out another car. Uh, and that was just kind of the last draw for me. So after that, I decided, no. This is this is done and over with. Um, we're gonna have to call it quits. So that's when I went ahead and I dropped them off at the uh, El Paso terminal. 
Good afternoon, American Red. Well, it's kind of actually morning time, but it's like 10 1041 right now. Uh, we're over here in Phoenix, Arizona, grabbing a load from Red Bull. Uh, we're going to grab it, take off, and head towards Beaumont, Texas. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing with the load yet because I don't. Uh, have the time right now to deliver it by 8 a.m. on Monday and it's a live unload so I'm not sure what they're gonna have us do with it yet um, we'll find out later on today I hope uh, what exactly we're gonna do uh, since I'm gonna be going to San Antonio for two days so we'll find out morning everybody look at where we are again we are back in El Paso so I drove as late as I could last night uh, almost didn't even make it there I was like I think I was like seconds away from being in violation on my clock <laughs> But I usually drive like right down to the minute and then I'll park. So I did, uh, yesterday I did 684 miles. And I uh, dropped a load and picked up a load. So 684 miles, that's, that's pretty good. I was pretty happy with that. This morning we are gonna stop at our El Paso terminal real quick. I gotta drop off my previous student who I dropped, John. I gotta drop off his stuff that he left in here that I had asked him to make sure and take, but obviously he didn't look. He was in a hurry to get out, so. Um, <clears throat> I also gotta pick up my spare key that he took with him too, so after that, then we will head to uh, San Antonio. All right, I've made it to the consignee. I am dropping this thing and uh, pretty much off for the next two days. So I'll probably do a little special edition video on some things that we do around here and places we eat and stuff like that here in San Antonio. So this plate right here is the carne gasada. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tastes really good. Mm -hmm. All right, mine is the carne asada. And I got two jalapenos on the side. I don't know how spicy they're going to be, so we'll find out. Door. So guys, if you like the video, like, subscribe, share. Let all your friends know, hey, these are awesome videos. We like them. Keep watching. Watch them. You know, share with your friends. All right, guys. Peace out. See you on the other side. Kind of looks spicy. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Mm. That tastes really good, but it's not spicy. Yes. We'll see in a couple more bites. 